how to configure a stabilized device via the Freelink app. This requires a stabilized device, a Bluetooth device, and the Freelink app. Start the Freelink app and tap the Tools button to start the guide. Select the Stabilization Receivers box and tap Configuration down at the bottom. For first time setup, please tap Yes to complete the basic setup. You can tap No to skip the basic setup guide and do a menu-based detailed calibration with adjustable gains. Next, make sure you've bound the receiver to your radio. Once this is done, you can click Next to move on to the next step. Now you can connect your servos to the PWM channels on the receiver. Once you've completed this, click Next to move on to the next step. Tap Open BT List and select the Radio slash Airlink S to connect via Bluetooth. Now, if you have not already done so, is the time to install the receiver into the model. Once this is complete, slide the screen to select the proper orientation that matches your installation. Tap Next and it will write to the device and confirm when completed. On your radio, access the menu for that particular model, go to the Mixes page and make sure the channel assignments match the chart shown in the app. Now we can choose the type of airplane model by sliding the screen left or right to select the correct wing type, delta wing, normal wing, or V-tail. Once you have this selected, click Next. It will write to the device and confirm when completed. Next comes calibration. Start this by placing the model on the ground horizontally. Set the throttle stick to the minimum throttle position. Toggle the switch that you have assigned to channel 12 about three to five times until the blue LED lights up. The device's gyros and accelerometers will start their self-check procedure. During this time, the device will record the servo control movements. When the blue LED goes out, make sure to move the transmitter sticks in their full range of motion. The transmitter gimbal travel will be recorded to the device. Once this is done, tap Next to move on to the next step. Now set the switch that you assigned to channel 10 to put your receiver into self-level mode. Make sure to check if any of your servo channels need to be reversed. If they do, scroll down and that can be changed in the app. When you're done, tap Next. It will write to the device and confirm when completed. Your stabilized device is now ready to be used. At this point, if you click Next, you can continue on to a more detailed calibration menu, giving you access to modify any of the settings you've made as well as other settings such as adjusting gain.